Week in Review, brought to you by Trinidad and Tobago Government Communications. Ministry of Rural Development and Local Government. The We Clean TT National Cleanup Campaign rolled into the Shaguanas Borough Corporation, removing garbage, debris and derelict items within the region. Ministry of Social Development and Family Services. 23 persons across various ministries, state agencies, the Tobago House of Assembly and the University of the West Indies received letters of appointment to serve on the Inter-Ministerial Social Research Council. The remit of the Council is to enhance the social sector research capacity and drive the conduct of relevant research for policy making. The letters of appointment were presented by Minister Donna Cox. Ministry of Sport and Community Development. 100 youths between the ages of 17 to 28 participated in the Dream Chasers Apprenticeship and Mentorship Project. This initiative was developed so that the youth of TNT can explore the world of work, plan career paths, hone entrepreneurial skills, examine strategies for growth in their communities, and promote personal and professional development toward overall national advancement. In addition, Trinidad and Tobago will host the American Zone Group 4 of the International Tennis Tournament from July 30th to August 6th. This is a collaborative effort between the Ministry, the Sport Company of TNT, the Tennis Association of TNT, and Davis Cup 2022. Minister Shampo Kajo stated that these initiatives and events stand to benefit all of Trinidad and Tobago, creating a platform for all players to showcase their talent, opportunities for all match officials and athletes to earn points, as well as economic growth for the country. Ministry of Works and Transport Motorists and members of the Mova Laventil, Sawa Barataria communities and environs can now enjoy improved movement and drainage systems as well as new sidewalks for pedestrian safety as the upgrade of the Mova to Maritime Roundabout has finally been completed. These upgrades were executed under the technical guidance of the Program for Upgrading Roads Efficiency. In Review, brought to you by Trinidad and Tobago Government Communications.